former BYU running back Hema Haymuli, who played at BYU from 1992 to 1995. That 94 season was remarkable. Ten total touchdowns, almost 1,000 total yards between receiving and rushing, and a comparable win over Oklahoma, including a win at Notre Dame. So, Hema, uh, it, this is long overdue. It's great to have you on the show. Great. Thank you for having me. <laughs> okay, I, I want to bring up something. You, you were, in a way, a poster child for BYU football in the 90s, quite literally, when these ad campaigns came out. And not surprisingly, they found you. They got you on one of these posters. So we want to rewind to that photo shoot that puts you on this picture. Catch us if you can. What do you remember about that photo shoot with Mark Philbrick? Uh, I remember I told him that's a terrible idea. Um, so... <laughs> But uh, we did it. I think it was fun. Um, and uh, I remember just being at night. We are in the practice field, and uh, we tried to look athletic. Uh, I remember trying to pose and trying to make it look good. And Mark, you know, he was amazing as far as making us look good. So uh, that's what I remember most about that picture was, number one, terrible idea. Number two, Mark made us look good. So. <laughs> So we had Tim McTire on the show a little bit earlier, and I asked him a similar yeah. question. I want to ask you this as well. What, what was the yeah. 90s era BYU football like for you? What was it like to be a part of that era of Cougar football? Um, to me, it was, it was, a, it was an amazing uh, opportunity for us to live the legacy of Lavelle. For me, the, what, I, what I learned most, more, more now than ever, was the opportunity to, to live in the system that he created based on uh, doing something that was drastically different than most people were doing, right? So, uh, so in the 90s, coming from the, from the 80s, where my brother played a uh, national championship, the 90s for me was just trying to uphold and live the le legacy of Lavelle, trying to win, continue to keep the legacy going. Unfortunately, uh, my senior year, that didn't work out so well. But um, as, far as, uh, as far as what I remember most about the 90s, for me, it was just trying to live the legacy, trying to beat Utah, trying to maintain the consistency of wins that Lavelle has built throughout the years. And so, for me, that was it. So, Former BYU running back Hema Hemuli is on BYU Sports Nation. Let's talk about the 94 season because that included, as I mentioned, a win at Notre Dame, and then a win over Oklahoma in the Copper Bowl. Ten wins. John Walsh is the quarterback. I feel like that's a team that is underappreciated in BYU football history. Do you see it the same way? Uh, I, I do, but I think we we sort of uh, uh, captured, or, or at least co the Copper Bowl was the kind of like the peak as far as what we could do uh, as a team. Also, I think with Walsh deciding to leave after that game, I felt, you know, there was a, a letdown in a way. But the 94 team, yes, that was a, an amazing accomplishment, that, what we did. But I, I was hoping he would stay to see if we could continue. McTire talked a little bit about how the, the, uh, the next year was amazing. I, I totally agree. What they did there was amazing. But as far as the John Walsh, he would have stayed. I wondered what that would look like also. And, and so uh, I, I would have to say. Yeah, it is very interesting because he leaves and then Steve Sarkeesian comes in. He's your quarterback in 95. Right. But so it's almost like ah, as, as tough as 95 was to take a step back, Sarkeesian coming in in 96 ultimately propelled the Cougars to 14 wins. So yeah, kind of, yeah. Kind of an interesting conversation in that hypothetical debate. Now I, I do want to stay in 94 for one more moment. Kalani yeah. Fafita Satake was a freshman on that 94 team. What was Kalani yes. like as a teammate, as a freshman? Um, you know, those uh, Pez dispenser um, that just has energy all day, every day. Uh, <laughs> I think that would be, that would be the person I would have to say that reminds me. He had energy um, all day and uh, it, it was amazing as far as anything that you wanted him to do, he was just all in. And that's what I remember most about Kalani. He didn't care what he played. He didn't care where you put him. He was willing to play nose guard or receiver. Um, and that's just the attitude that he had. Um, and uh, is amazing. So you missed the 96 year by a year. 
So you, you miss yes. being able to have that experience going to the Cotton Bowl and all that. Do you feel gypped that you get that you were one year <laughs> off from that season? Uh, I, I do, but I think they played. The, the reason why they won is because I wasn't there. So, <laughs> no. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. I do. It was an amazing run. They had, um, you know, they had the great schedule too. But you got to admit, um, Sarkeesian, I agree, was a underrated quarterback, and it would have been awesome to see what he could have done two years, uh, or at least a full four years. So, Hema, let's ask you this before uh, we let you go. What's your impression of the program as it stands today, and the direction that BYU football is moving under Kalani Satake? Um, I. I think, number one, the culture, um, Kalani is a different coach. He has a different style, right? So Lavelle, for me, amazing. Um, he was a genius, and people underestimate exactly what, the way Lavelle approached the game. Um, he, he made strategic decisions to, make, uh, to become passing in the midst of a running, a heavy running uh, atmosphere in the, in the game, right? So for Lavelle to make that, Drastic change in order for us to make you know, to win was amazing. So as far as I'm concerned, Lavelle was a, was a was a genius in that regard. What I'm seeing now with Kalani bringing in and the aspect of the game to, to try to match up and, and, and compete with other teams, um, I, I think is, is is great. He's a he's a people or a player coach as far as bringing the best out of his players. I see that as far as uh, one of his main core competency as a, as a coach. I see that very well. And I think that's one of his strengths is bringing out the best in, in players. I think recruiting too is tough. We're not a power five team and he's been able to get good players here. And as far as that's concerned, I think there's, there's, those are the main things that I see. I'm, I'm very optimistic. I think that there's great things for us in the future and I'm very, uh, glad that Kalani is uh, at the helm and he's doing a great job. We so. need more Haymoolies in the program. I'll just say that to finish up. Uh, you're you're very on your, not on your good game today, my friend. So. <laughs> Emma, it's great to have you on the show. We'll do it again soon. Appreciate the insights and right. the uh, okay. recollections. Thank you. Hema Hemuli, former BYU running back from 1991 to 1995. It's good to talk to him. It's great to talk with him.